Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And Bars and Barbells is the channel name. Thank you for joining us today for another reaction from a highly requested video that you guys have been saying we got to get into is uh, Craig Morgan, the father of my son and the Holy Ghost. This has been a request on some of the more emotionally charged songs that we've been doing. Um, an example would be Martina McBride, Concrete Angel. Yes. That one was pretty heavy and... Uh, Tears, uh, Tears in Heaven mm -hmm. uh, with Eric Clapton. And so in that light of the Eric Clapton one, this is a little more similar to that because um, it's about, uh, I think, Craig Morgan's son who passed away. I believe his son's name was Jerry. And um, so we did a little bit of, you know, background clearly on this, um, that he was 19 years old and he got into a tubing accident. Yes. And uh, so this is the first song that was released by Craig Morgan um, after his son's uh, unfortunate passing, which is clearly, you know, uh, an absolutely you know, horrific thing to have to go to, go through your, you know, your child that, you know, is still super young, growing up, seeing and experiencing yeah. the world. Their whole and, life ahead of them. And, you know, it's just a shock, right? So I think, you know, one thing I've always really, you know, thought would be super difficult is just as a parent having to bury your own child oh, you know and i know that sounds course. morbid but yeah um it's just something that i've thought about I, I shouldn't say that i always think about that it makes me sound kind of weird but um what i meant was that you know um that's something i, I just can't even imagine yes no you can't even fathom it it's you know it, it's yeah it's super thing. super hard so um you know kudos to craig morgan for putting this on paper first of all and doing the song um, and in light of that, I think Blake Shelton said something similar, as far as we know, where he kind of started a campaign to get this song trending a bit more and, you know, and, and listed some of his other country music artists that, you know, these superstars out here to get this song on the charts. And it ended up going, I think, number one on the charts yeah, because some awareness to it. Yeah, because there was that awareness brought to it. And rightly so. I mean, these are the songs that matter, right? The songs that you know, have meaning to them, and especially in country music, I feel yeah. like. and I think know. these are the things that people need, right? Like, you know, so many people, I shouldn't say so many people, but a lot of people go through these challenging times and they lean on, you know, music or movies or other forms of art, right, to connect themselves yeah. with other people that have gone through something similar, yeah, right? For sure. To feel like, you know, other people have gotten through it as yeah. well. So, Blake Shelton, you know, kudos to him as well for doing that. Anyways. Enough of the chit chat. Um, let's uh, get into this one. Check it out. I think it's probably going to be a little bit of a hard hit. Shining bright is always downtown on the road. I have friends that come from out of town asking me to go. They say there's so much going on. Why don't you come along and show us around? I tell them Karen's not feeling well, so I probably shouldn't go out. Besides, I've got a fixed list of things I need to do around the house. Then I hang up the phone, turn the radio back on, and sit back down. I know my boy ain't here, but he ain't gone. In the mornings, I wake up, give her a kiss at two. Pour a cup and wake me up and try to rouse up some ambition. Go outside, sit by myself, but I ain't alone. I've got the Father, my Son, and the Holy Ghost. I've been beat up, I've been pushed and shoved, but never ever knocked down between mom and dad uncle sam and friends i somehow always pulled out but the pain of this was more than i'd ever felt before yeah i was broke i 
cried and cried and cried until I passed out on the floor. Then I prayed and prayed and prayed till I thought I couldn't pray anymore. Then minute by minute, day by day, my God, He gave me hope. You can tell that was really difficult for him to get through. So much emotion in that. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a weird feeling doing the reaction to it in this one. Um, like, I could feel like his pain was there, and I felt like, you know, I uh, you know, I could put myself in his, you know, viewpoint. Obviously, I can't understand what it's like, yeah. but I, uh, you know, but at the same time, the messaging of the song was almost uplifting in some ways yeah um so it's like i said a really weird feeling that i have at this moment that you know i feel this pain and i feel really sad and like a lot of sorrow and you know just um terrible like like you said in the beginning thing to go through um and I, you can see I feel, I feel like certain visuals almost more so i feel like obviously uh, you don't know but if i was a fly in the wall of him doing this video I feel like that there might have been really hard parts for him to yes. record the video for. I would agree. Um, and um, but the song itself, it like I said, kind of gives me this feeling that he's, um, you know, gone through part of the grieving process, and a part of that has been the prayer. And you know, he said he cried and he cried and he cried, which is heart wrenching. But then he, you know, prayed and he prayed and he prayed and through that prayer, through that guidance, through, you know, the song, the father, my son and the Holy Spirit, um, he's found some, you know, hope and faith, which, you know, I think is, is, you know, like I said, so uh, push and pull on the song because on the one hand, I'm like, that's great that you found that. I'm so happy for you that you have found that because it's super difficult to get over something like that. And then you, you wrote this song and it, you know. It's a beautiful song as well, and you know, great vocal performance from him and all that. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, looking at these images and hearing these words about him crying and everything else, and it's just like, you can't put it into words how much pain that must be. Stabs so, you in the heart a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot, yeah. So it's it's like I said, just tough to, uh, to go through all these emotions all at one time, um, you yeah. know. But I, I feel like the song itself didn't make me feel sad, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it it had this mix in there, so it was it was very uh, interesting dynamic that he put in put into this song. But I hope you know this is I think four years ago now, so I hope he's you know even gone further along that grieving process and and uh, was saying a little prayer for for his son as well. So hopefully he's doing well. 
Yeah, I think that, you know, you kind of hit the nail on the head there where, you know, it's a process, right? And I think that's what he was touching on a little bit in this is that like every day it gets a little bit easier if you take the perspective of that you're not alone, right? That he's he's past, but he's not gone, right? Like that spirit is still with you each day. And, you know, I think that he was talking a little bit about how the prayer and having that mindset of that, like, you know, the spirit is still there and one day, you know, I think he said at the end, I'll be home, right? At the end, we'll all be together and having the faith and that uplifting, I guess, idea that, that there is like, you know, this end game of that we'll all be together and, you know, being home. Um, I think that's kind of the uplifting part of it, right? Uh, obviously, like you said, the situation is horrible when anybody loses anybody in life, but I think it's the faith and the hope that you have through that process is what gets you through that process right the grieving process and you know it's kind of like if you don't have hope and you don't have faith like how are you supposed to get through something like that right so um i think the song itself i totally agree i think it's so sad the whole situation but i think the song was made to be able to give other people who are going through something similar something to grasp onto for that hope and for that feeling of like you know i'm gonna be able to get through this and you know it will all be okay type situation yeah, and I just think, it, you know, it's hard to, you know, I said, you know, watching the video, you kind of you know, try to put yourself in his shoes, but it's near impossible to do that, oh, right? It's, you know, where we don't have kids, but I just, I can't even imagine that, you know, losing your child in that way, like we said in the beginning. Yeah. Just, you know, to then, but then kudos to him to be able to, you know, write a song and, and use his, as you were alluding to, the artistry of it to allow, you know, to express those emotions. And then what it did was, it got garnered support from the community yeah. of those people around him. And that's that I think to me is is the important thing that maybe goes overlooked sometimes is that yeah, like we said, the faith and the belief and the and the uh, the feeling of comfort and hope and all that stuff really, really matters. But, you know, the other portion of this is that, you know, the 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 uplifting component from the community of country and his fans and everything else is probably what actually gets him through all yeah. of this stuff. Like I'm sure the, the, the faith is a huge, huge portion of this, yeah. but it's the people that then um, encapsulate that faith, right? Of like, you know, it's like me just message. saying, like, you know, I said a prayer for his son. Yeah. You know, it's those little things I think that really are going to help somebody in this position keep going yeah, and, and sure. really matter and should be overlooked because I think community is super, super important. Yeah. So. And I think something else like not to be overlooked, like you had said how it was very apparent that it was probably very hard for him to do this. But I think like even within that, he still did such a great job of relaying the emotion of the song but also the storytelling of the song like you could envision everything he was talking about like while he was singing right like the song compo composition itself with like the lyrics and everything yeah. like it was just so well put together yeah. well I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to Craig Morgan heavier song but it was uh, definitely worth a listen and uh, I'm glad we got to check that out and yeah. hear a little bit about Craig's story and you know uh, hopefully like I said he's doing well so thanks for that recommendation guys if you want to leave us a comment and let us anything let us know about anything else we should know about then feel free we always love to hear from you guys and uh, that's how we learn about artists and music in general and uh, if you haven't subscribed we'd love to have you on the channel as well and you can you know come along for this journey that we've been going on with all this stuff you know this different kinds of stuff and experiencing all the artistry that there is out there so uh, if you do subscribe, we'll see you soon and uh, we'll talk to you then. Thanks for watching, guys.